Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. We are painting again today, mainly because my split cup that I ordered online, which came from France, arrived. Now I had a couple issues with it. The bottom leaked, so this was 3D printed. So I put some permanent vinyl on the bottom and that stopped the leaking. And then when I add water, it was leaking between the compartments, just a small amount. So I'm hoping that's not gonna be an issue with paint. We'll have to wait and see, but this is quite big. This holds 14 ounces. It's got a nice handle on it. That's why I ordered this one. And it's got a, hopefully I've got that in camera for you, a nice pouring area. So I'm hoping this one will do good. So mixed up my paints yesterday, all Liquidex paints. Color-wise, we've got Brilliant Yellow Green. This one's still quite bubbly. Not super happy about that. Got about 75 grams of paint and pouring medium. Our next color is light green permanent. So I've kind of put these in order of light to dark, dark to light. Greens and blues, purples, reds, oranges. Kind of split them in half that way. So I can already see that the compartments are different sizes. So a little sad about that. I like that this is wider. So the opening to, the, to each compartment is actually wider and a lot easier to get the paint in. So super happy with that. Let's get as much paint as possible. Okay, our next color is Brilliant Blue. Way easier to pour that into the Michaels one. So far I haven't seen a color cut through to the next side, so the paint should be hopefully thick enough that it's not going through. So yeah, a little sad that the bottom leaked. I will obviously let the seller know and probably leave a review just advising, you know, if you fill it up with water, it's gonna leak, but a thicker paint probably won't leak. Like, I don't wanna leave a bad review, but I want other artists to beware if they're thinking of buying one. Cause I'm gonna guess if you were using really thin paint, it might leak out the bottom. Originally, I was actually going to use a heavy duty glue, and then I was like, well, I don't want to wait 24 hours for it to cure. <laughs> so I'm like, what can I do? What can I do? And went, wait a minute, I got permanent vinyl. I'm a crafter. Okay, our next color is Deep Violet. As I said, look at X paints, 75 grams, one part paint to about one and a half parts pouring medium. My pouring medium is 60% PVA glue, 40% water. And most of them, they were a little thin, so I had to add a, a bit more paint once I did my initial calculations and then mix it up until I got the consistency that I was looking for.
I will be working on a 12 inch round. It's just off to the side. All right. Okay, our next color is Pyrrole Red. So yeah, going for bright, but I am looking to do a ring pour. My last ring pour, I had a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. So what I was going for didn't happen, but what I got, I was quite happy with. Oh, it looks like the red is going through just a little bit, but that's okay. So yeah, looking for a ring pour. I want it bright vibrant so I'm just hoping I get something somewhat ringy like <laughs> okay last color is cadmium orange hue Yeah, the outside compartments are definitely a lot smaller. I'm not getting all my paint in those. Yeah, a little bit of green, yellow green, a little bit of the orange left. So I'm glad I scraped the center ones. Make sure nothing's coming through on the bottom. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Here is our pretty round. So yeah, I'm gonna pour in the middle, ring pour. We'll probably do a little bit of slight spinning, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Sometimes what I wanna do and what I end up doing are totally different things. And I'm gonna remember to torch before I spin any of this out. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Keep my circles. Not the best circles so far. Yeah, my circles are not the best. This is not pouring out the best. I'm a little disappointed in that, but this could be user error. Yeah, it's kind of flowing over. down the cup a little bit. That's the thing with accessories to painting. You never know how it's going to kind of go, how it's going to end up for you. You got to give it a try. Because what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for the next person. So this has kind of turned into a wandering pour. <laughs> Wasn't my intention, but my arm has slowly moved. It's been getting tired. <laughs> my circles are getting bigger and bigger. Just trying to go over there.
Who would have thought a rain pour would be so hard? I'm trying to keep it small and tight, but I'm having troubles. I'm almost doing what I did last time, but I think I'm getting more of a ring design out of this, so. That red next to the purple, looking fantastic. There, now I'm getting a bit of a better ring. Still doing its thing. Go over the edge. But I think we're good. My arm is getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay, torch, torch. Aha, I remembered. Okay. So I spun counterclockwise, so let's spin clockwise. Kind of looks like a shell. We'll see when it opens up a bit more what we get. I think I kind of got a ring. Wow. <laughs> Not a smooth ring. I've seen such pretty ring pours on YouTube and on Facebook, wow. Come on, we need to get over, over that edge. It's getting there, slowly but surely. Just a little bit more there. That's looking really, really pretty. I had to give it more oomph. A couple more spins and I think we're going to be good. Oh, wow. Loving these colors together. As I said, I wanted bright and I have definitely gotten bright here. Okay, we got about three to four inches left to go over. And then I'm going to give it another torch because I can see a few more bubbles. I can hear my neighbor's dog. They got a puppy, puppy dog. <laughs> and he must be outside and he's crying to get back in. Probably not happy. We've had snow for the past couple days in my neck of the woods, so. Not the funnest. Other areas have had worse weather, so I'm not gonna complain. Okay, there is a bubble I couldn't get popped. Where'd it go? Oh, did it pop? Because I came to threaten it. I think it got popped. Okay, I need a, probably one, maybe two more spins. But I am liking this one. That was a weak spin. Weak! Yeah, the canvas on that side isn't even covered. I don't want to lose all that darkness there, 
but I have to because I need to get that paint over and get that edge completely covered. And then we should be good. There's nothing to grab onto except the bottom of the cake spinner. That's why I'm getting these weak spins. We're almost there. Just finding a something underneath to grab onto. You can see my pink in here, dried up paint from my last one, which was a split cup pour, not a ring. Ring pour. <laughs> okay, how is that edge looking? Oh, I've probably got three little sections left. Okay, come on, you can do it. It shifted a little bit. Okay, I might have to interfere with that edge. Maybe I will do that after. Because uh, I got a couple spots actually I'm gonna have to play with. But I think I'm done spinning. So let's get you a little closer so you can get a better view. And I think this should be the bottom here. So let me spin that around. I gotta get the paint off my fingers. Okay, and come around to you. I gotta take my glove off. I should know by now. It's very hard to control my camera, which is my phone, without gloves on. Okay, what do you think? I love the colors. I love that we got that purple and blue in the center. It almost looks like it's fire. That's what I'm seeing on this one is fire, like an inferno. Maybe that's what I'll call it, inferno. But super happy with it. Not 100% happy with the pour cup. There's other ones I've seen online, but they get pretty expensive. So you see it and it's like, oh, it's $20, $30 uh, online seller, Etsy, whoever. And then the shipping is another $20. So you're like, that's $50 for a small cup, but then you want to support a small business, someone small. You don't want to support a company. Like I bought the Michaels ones just because they were there and I wanted to test them out. Didn't have a split cup yet, so I've tested them out. There's pros and cons with it. This one I bought from an online seller, pros and cons. I will do some more searching. I know I'm gonna find another one and there'll probably be pros and cons with it. Just, I don't think you can fully win, but that's okay. But enough of my ranting. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. Until next time.